this is Jordan Fisher from the Tech Center, and it's Christmas Day! Well, it won't be when you're watching this, but it is Christmas Day when I'm recording. And I got an interesting little thing that I wanted to show you guys today. This is the Logitech G700S. It is a gaming mouse, hence the G in the series. It is a very unique gaming mouse. And there's a reason why. It's rechargeable. So, not only is it super amazing, there it is, you can see it, but it's rechargeable. And But you don't have to have it plugged in. You can have it be wireless or wired. And if it's wired, it'll charge and let you still use it at the same time, which was super amazing, I thought. Anyway, it was $50. Yes, I know how much it cost. I picked it out myself. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. Let's see here. How does this thing open? Let's just try it right down here, where the tape is. I'll go ahead and get this opened up. It does have a wireless receiver, and it also has a wired cable. And one of the big features I like about this mouse other than all that super awesome wireless and wired, is all these buttons. There's buttons over there, there's buttons over there, there's buttons there. It has five memory profiles for different stuff. You know, if you have different profiles for different games. And it's super amazing. I really like mice with buttons. So inside, we have this little box, which has the manual, all the important safety information that's never important. If it really was important, they wouldn't print it in tiny print. And of course, the mouse itself, which I will open. Oh, wait, we've got something else. We've got the data cable, which is just a standard cable, nothing fancy or anything. It's got a little Velcro strap to hold it in, and a kind of cool USB thing that we will find plugs into the mouse actually pretty well. We also have in the box a cable extender if you're for the wireless doodad if you're further away from your computer and you just want it to be closer. So you plug one end of it into the computer and the other end you plug the wireless chip into it, which is kind of cool. I probably won't be needing that just because of the way my setup is, but it's a useful thing to have. Oops, dropped it there. Yeah, it's kind of cool little cable. USB plug on one end. But anyway, no one cares about all the cables and this and that and the other thing. What they care about is the actual mouse. And of course, I don't want to forget the Wi-Fi chip, because I will be using it as a Wi-Fi mouse for the most part. Come on. There. Okay. So, wow, this mouse is big, which I like. I do have a rather large hand, and I like a big mouse. It's also got this super awesome textured grip. Like, it feels really nice. It's like smooth on the top, but really like rough and bumpy on the bottom, which is cool. And of course, all the cool buttons. And this mouse is a special, or the scroll wheel is special because it has two scroll modes. You can press this little button, it'll lock it, and it'll scroll like a regular mouse. Or you can push it again, and then it'll scroll. You probably can't see it in the video, but it just scrolls forever. Uh, I think it, they call it hyper scroll or something. It's kind of cool. Also, lots of different buttons. And of course, the cool design. And right there is what I was talking about, that cool plug. So this end of the plug right here goes into the mouse. And when it does, it actually, if I can actually get it in. Does it go in? There it goes. It actually fits, like, right into the mouse, as you can see there. So that's super cool, although I probably won't be using it on wired mode, but... Still cool anyway. And let's see what's in here. They included actually not a, just a, any kind of bargain brand battery in here. They included an Eneloop rechargeable battery. So that's also really cool. It's got a good weight. I just noticed there's a cool little battery. I don't know what you call that indicator on there. That's also nice. And this mouse is going to be really awesome to use. So. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, and also you can check out other videos like the Mean Stack 
basics programming series up here in the top right hand corner. And yeah, I'll see you next time guys. Bye!